Um. God, brain function. I don't have any other way to hand off this money, though, do I? Because I have full monies. Oh, I remember I... Uh, what? Is it too big for me? Why do you have a face and you have a little kid? We look like this because of the spider's curse. Um, I'm not going to sleep well tonight. This is what I've learned. I already had a weird vampire dream yesterday. This isn't a kid. This, I know that. I know the Legend of Zelda is supposed to be all ages, the same way a Disney film is supposed to be all ages. But they put something like this in a slightly, definitely marketed for children because it's like the '90s, and we're dealing with an N64 here. Uh, they put this in a kids' game, in a, in a game marketed for children. Oh, I like those emote saber one. Those look cool. Why they put this in a game for kids? Why? Why do they want the kids to have nightmares? Okay, show of hands to anyone in the chat willing and or brave enough to say this. Did... When, if, if you played this when you were a kid, did this give you nightmares? Did spider kid cursed man here give you any nightmares when you were a kid? Because I'll own up to it. I had... Uh, I was afraid of the dark for years because of killer clowns from outer space. Also in part because that got shown to me around the same time as Mars Attacks. So, like, you know, the stupid stuff can make you terrified of things. Could not go in the dark at all. I don't know why. I think it's because I chalked it up in my brain is that, like, because killer clowns from outer space, the setting for it is at night, so thereby those monsters can only show up at night. I don't know. It's where my thought process was as a child. It makes no sense, but I was afraid. In fact, what's particularly funny about all of it is that um, my, we were talking about this more recently, and my dad's like, yeah, that was not a good parenting decision on my end to let you watch that. And I was like, yeah. I'm like, I really think it was because we watched around the same time we watched Mars Attacks, and that thing scars you for obvious reasons when you're a child because of how weird it is, but, you know. I'm going to have nightmares now. Yeah, see? Thank you. <laughs> if every spider of the curse in the entire world were destroyed, the curse would be broken. When you destroy a spider of the curse, a token will appear. Collect it as proof of your achievement. Ah, I see. So it's Gulchula's. The number next to this icon on the quest status subscreen indicates how many spiders of the curse you have destroyed so far. When this icon is displayed next to the name of the area on the map subscreen, there are no more spiders in that area. Look for them not only out in the open, but also inside the dungeons. Oh, of course, this is just our dream. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. Uh, do, uh, <laughs> Hello? Yeah, no pressure. It's just my hopes and my dreams and my entire life, and my ability to become a real boy. Yeah, nothing to, no, no pressure, you know, you don't have to do, kid. Kid, the manipulation. <laughs> if you break the curse on my family, we will make you very, very rich. I, uh, I'm, I'm gonna do it as best I can. I'm not- I'm not looking to 100% this, cause I, I- but if I find anything, I'll go ahead and do it. Uh, but I just- I'm not- I'm not doing it because you told me to. I'm doing it because it's the right thing and I have a complex about these things and needing to find them and kill them because I played Hyrule Warriors and that's what it is. So, 
I got these emotes for hooking Prime up to my Go account. Ooh. I didn't realize you could do that now. I mean, that makes sense. Uh, no, I'm not gonna... So what happens if I put on... Nope, I'm leaving. I don't like that sound. I'm out of here. I don't care. I'm just gonna go. We're good. We're fine. Everybody's fine. We're good. We're happy. So what happens if I try to put on the mask? Oh my god, I'm adorable. I'm a Pikachu. I know it's probably a fox mask, but I am a Pikachu. I am Pikachu Link. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Pikachu Lunkle. And you want to see something even better? You want to see something better than Pikachu Lunkle? You ready for this? Y'all ready? You ready? Now I'm Turtle Pikachu. I'm Turtle Pikachu Lunkle. Keaton, you uncultured sign. Hey, look. Look, okay? I am not well versed in anything. <laughs> this is only my second Zelda game, okay? There's so much I don't know. But, I mean, <laughs> Squirtle Chew. Yes, see? See, Whitney gets it. <laughs> but now I get to be Turtle. <laughs> Turtle Link Linkle Chew. Squirtle Linkle Chew? No, that doesn't that doesn't fit. But Turtle Linkle Chew does. I don't know why that one fits. I think it's the I think it's the S sounds. I think it's the S sounds. Alright, we'll take it off, but I find that funny. Okay, I'm I'm aware. Thank you. I, I know that Impa said that. We're we're on the process of that. Don't worry. We just had to make sure our shield didn't catch on fire when we walked in the door. Is that okay with you, Navi? Alright. Um, we save. We save. Okay. Do I want to give this to you? I don't think I want to give it to you yet. I don't think I want to give it to you yet. I'll go back. I just want to walk in the front door and get the cool animatic of whatever. Okay, so what is this going to do for me? Just going to keep sitting down here. Can you die? Um, I want to turn around to look at you. No, oh, that's what I was afraid of. Nope, that was the wrong button. Give me hearts. Alright, I guess I'm leaving. Because I don't want to hear that noise the whole time. Which I'm pretty sure is the get some health, you idiot noise, but... I should have known stab it in the eye. What am I, an idiot? Okay, so correction. The only the only Zelda games I have beaten is Hyrule Warriors, which is kind of like uh, a brief understanding of all of the games, just a little bit. And uh, it's just Dynasty Warriors, but with Zelda characters. And only the first one did I play. Um, and then Skyward Sword. And those are the only two Zelda games I have beaten. Not the only two Zelda games I've played, but the only two I've beaten. So you think I would know by this point. I think I have to destroy that wall at some point. Oh yeah, there's a something back there. I'm probably gonna have to blow it up. I don't have a bomb bag yet. Oh, it's nighttime. Yeah, anything with eyeballs, you stab in the eyeball. That's how this works, right? Ow! Stop jumping, you loser. How do I get that? 
How do I get up there? How do I get that? I don't want that. What's up here? Uh, it's probably the top of the mountain where I'm supposed to go. Okay, but then what's over here? Oh, that's a way I can't go through yet because I'm probably going to need a bomb bag. And was... Oh my god. Oh, you're friendly. That's right. I, I know what you are, but I just... Just seeing you scared the snot out of me. Okay. Um, good, good evening, friend. Uh, I gotta drink water before I do his voice. I am one of the Gorons, the stone-eating people who live on Death Mountain. Look at that huge boulder over there. It blocks the entrance to the Dodongo's Cavern, which was once a very important place for us Gorons. But one day, many Dodongos suddenly appeared inside the very cavern. It has become a very dangerous place. On top of that, in Gerudo, wait, a Gerudo in black armor used his magic to seal the entrance with that boulder. Okay, so Ganon was here. If you want to hear more Goron gossip, head to our city. Well, we all know how I feel about gossip, so yeah. <sighs> Goron City is just a little way up the trail. It won't take much longer to get there, even on foot. Thank you. Can I read the sign, please? Oh yeah, go back to sleep, my guy. Don't don't stay up for me. Dodongo's Cavern. Don't enter without permission. Like I could. Like I could. This is a magic boulder that pushes me away from it. No, no, go back to sleep, dude. You're fine. Didn't mean to wake you. I'm sorry. Go back to sleep. Go back to sleep, little friend. Back to sleep. Uh, hello, are you, you friend? We friends? Hello, sir. They say that a beautiful fairy lives on top of Death Mountain. Don't you want to see her? Uh, yeah. Dude, sign me up. Death Mountain Trail. You know, Death Mountain is surprisingly nice and peaceful. Follow the trail along the edge of the cliff and you'll reach Goron City, home of the Gorons. Okay, so what happens if I don't follow the... Oh my god, they're running at me. I'm sorry, I didn't realize homing was a thing. Alright. Ah, just, I'm just gonna live through that for a little bit. Oh, Scully, two 80s film sequels this year. Which two do we get? I don't remember. Give me a heart. I'm not freaking Deku nuts. Yeah, I was just talking about this at work the other day. Um, favorite films from each respective decade. Uh, 70s. Because that's, that's as far back as I've got right now. Um, 70s would be Dawn of the Dead, the original version. Oh yeah, Beetlejuice. I remember that one was going to be... Um, was getting the remake because they're or sequel I should say because um, the original guy who played Beetlejuice is coming back for Beetlejuice. I need I shouldn't say his name any more times. Bad things happen. And Axel F. I don't remember that one. Um. Well, I heard that sigh over there. <laughs> um. But so favorite movies from each decade as it starts. Uh, 70s. Dawn of the Dead. Romero. Classic. One of my favorites. A little slow on the start. Really like the rest of it. Okay, you better not come at me again. Oh, we have a... We have... We have what is this? I feel like I should play something. Is this going to do anything for us? Oh, Beverly Hills Cop. Four. Oh, okay. 
Oh, that didn't do anything. But, oh, that makes sense. Did I? I had to have watched at least the first one. Right? I think I did. Land of the Gorons, Goron City. So yeah, uh, 70s, Dawn of the Dead. 80s, the first Back to the Future. Absolute favorite. Um, 90s. It's okay, I can just change time when I get in there. 90s is My Cousin Vinny. Love My Cousin Vinny. And let's see. 2000s, Iron Man. Like the first Iron Man. 2010s, uh, Into the Spider Verse. 2020s, so far it's Barbie. Followed very closely by Across the Spider Verse. Because I think Across the Spider Verse is an incredible, like, visual piece. But I don't think it was as concise as Into the Spider Verse was. Because Into the Spider Verse, I consider to be a masterpiece. And I don't use that word lightly. And I think that I won't be able to make that judgment on Across the Spider-Verse until... Like... Until watching, um... The Across the Spider-Dimension or whatever the one is that's supposed to be coming out in like 2025 or something. But I'm worried because that one's plagued with production problems. So we're gonna see. Hello, friend! Can we, can we have conversation? Oh, I'm so hungry. Everyone feels faint from hunger because the food shortage in this town. We're in danger of extinction. You guys eat rocks, right? You're surrounded by rocks. It's all because we can't enter our quarry, the Dodongon's Cavern. We Gorons live on a diet of rocks. And the most delicious and nutritious rocks around are found in the Dodongo's Cavern. But that seems like ancient history now. Oh, okay. We've become such gourmets that we can't stand to eat rocks from anywhere else. My guy, if your options are death or eat subpar rocks, uh, eat subpar rocks. I've had at least one dollar store pizza. Really messed me up. I'm not doing it ever again. Don't recommend it. Um, but it did the job. Really messed up my stomach. You know, now maybe I'm beginning to take back my thought. I don't know. Do something. Can you can you boil the rocks in butter? Is that an option? <sighs> I want to eat top sirloin rocks from the Dodongo's cat. Wait, so do doc do do rocks taste like steak to them? It's like meat. What make what makes wait what makes a rock taste like a sirloin rock rather than like I don't know a regular rock what what is the flavor context is like I don't know is one more juicy than the other oh juicy rocks I don't I don't you know what I'm not gonna keep entertaining the thought we're gonna move onward those are cursed thoughts because that's like the bleeding fungus thing the bleeding parts are hard. Dry age. Okay, okay. I can that I can get behind. That I can get behind. I the other stuff is just a no. Oh, can I just open these? Oh, good God! No, not money. Don't give me money. I don't want money. I want. Oh, that's a bomb. Okay. Good to know. Why is the music? Why is the music here making me think of Baldi's Basics? Anyone else that's anyone else that's recently like thought back on the indie game Baldi's Basics, getting that vibe here? Just gonna move out of your way. Thank you, good sir. I guess I'll just keep following you. Yeah, that's the part. Mm -hmm. 
If you can stop my wild rolling, you might get something great. Oh. Okay, maybe when I have more than one and a quarter hearts, we can do that. I 100% agree. Um, I don't want to walk over on this. I'm going to die. Oh, God. Oh. oh. <gasps> don't, don't run, Link. I'm going to have a stroke. I sound like Link's mother. Don't, don't you run on that, per, you know, precarious tightrope walk or I'm going to have a stroke. <gasps> could, you, could, you, could you not do that when I'm right here? I get that you're just waking up to me being in your face, and that's terrifying in and of itself. Um, but just give it just like two seconds to get over the I'm terrified and on a tightrope thing, my guy. It's just two seconds. <sighs> boy, oh boy. Oh, I gotta remember how to press buttons. Oh, of course things broke. I need to get a new link for that, but that's a different thing. Hey! It's dangerous for a little kid to come out here. You might fall down. No kidding. If I'm not mistaken, you came out here to eat the redstone. Well, too bad. It's not here. What? That's not why you're here. Huh. You're looking for a spiritual stone. You must mean that delicious looking redstone that was once displayed here. I was so hungry that I thought it'd be okay to just give it one tiny little lick. So I snuck out here, but it was already gone. I think Big Brother took it away. Oh god, yeah, well, Big Brother's always watching. He always says that everyone is after that redstone. Big Brother has shut himself up in his room saying, I will wait in here for the royal family's messenger. Sure. I appreciate your enthusiasm, I guess. I'm just gonna keep walking, I'm just gonna keep walking, I'm just gonna keep walking, I'm just gonna keep walking. Go, 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 go. I'm doing so much better. I'm doing so good. I'm gonna jinx myself if I... I don't know, stay away from me, stay away from me, stay away from me. Okay. Where am I? Oh, I bet if I throw the bomb into one of those holes, it'll pop out into a different hole. Okay, this is the entrance. Noted. So that's the only way right now I can get here. Just gonna... Please. Nope. I was really hoping. Yeah, I know. Okay, I'm aware. I'm aware. I just... I don't know how to... I don't know how to fix this right now. We don't have the the resources for that. Uh, if, if I have to keep hearing this, I'm gonna lose it. I know that's like the thing, but... Okay. Is he coming back around? Okay, he is. Come on. Please just leave me alone, thank you. Okay, I've gotta have something around here, right? I don't know if I wanna try messing around with bombs when I have one heart. What's over here? Hello? Sir? Oh, you really have no peripheral vision. Hello? So hungry that I can't think about anything but food. Spiritual stone. That red stone that was lighting up our city? Big brother Darunia took it away and then he shut himself in his room and won't come out. Since then it feels like all the light in the city has gone out. Everyone seems so depressed. I want you to bring fire from Big Brother's room back here. Got it. Is this the room? I don't... 
All right. Before I get myself blown up. All right. Okay. I'm not strong enough to pick that up. So that's good news, at least. Hello. Good sir, can we have a conversation? Oh. We don't get many visitors way up here. Where are you from? The forest. What's a forest? Huh? Lots of trees, very few rocks. Oh. I guess there's a farm, and whatever. It's where lots of trees and plants grow. Now I'm even more confused. Nothing grows around here besides the bomb flowers. We don't have seeds or nuts around here either. Even Deku sticks are very scarce around here. I know a trick to conserve sticks. If you light a stick on fire, it will burn to ashes. Press A to put it away before it completely burns. And by the way, I hit a stick somewhere. <laughs> so, if I just take out the stick... Oh, thank God. Well, there's a stick. So if I take out a stick, is it just gonna burn because of where we're at? That's my question. Hello. Big Brother has shut himself in his room saying, I will wait in here for the royal family's messenger. Yeah, I, I know. How do I get in? Do I just... There we go. So apparently he knows the song. Perfect, thank you. Oh, I love him. I love him. You, can I destroy these? Do I get things if I destroy these? Is it just money? I don't want money. I want hearts. Hello? What in the heck? I gotta come up with a new voice for him. But I want... I want it to... I want it to involve my jaw more. Just based on the kind of voice it seems like he'd have. Maybe I should give him a southern accent. Hmm. Make him be the only one that has it, you know. What in the heck? Who are you? Nope, still not enough. It's too up here. What in the heck? No, that's still up there. Ah. Hmm. No, I think I'll just stick with it. Who are you? When I heard the song of the royal family, I expected their messenger to had had arrived, but well, you're just a little kid. gonna say I has a switch. <gasps> oh good. I'm glad that you got a switch. Cause I know like that would that would be the best console for you because they're solidly like they got such a solid retro collection. Has Darunia, the big boss of the Gorons, really lost so much status as to be treated like this by his sworn brother, the king? Okay, look. Now I'm really angry. Get out of my face now. Are you asking why I'm in such a bad mood right now? <laughs> Ancient creatures have infested the Dodongon cat. Dodongon. That's hard to do with a southern accent. Dodongo's cavern. We had a poor harvest of our special crop bomb flowers. Starvation and hunger because of the rock shortage. But. This is a Goron problem. We don't need any help from strangers. Okay, so what I'm hearing is I need to come back with the Goron mask. Can't go in the door yet. Hmm. Do you have another? No. Nope. Okay. So what else do we have? What other options do we have? Oh. Now, I'm not strong enough to pick that up yet. I'm just gonna hang out on the corner until he rolls pack past again, because I can see him. 
Thank you. Please, please roll away from me. Thank you. So then where's the brother? He's gotta be in one of the other rooms. Probably down there in the pit, closest to the king. It has all my consoles out. Good. Alright, so the only thing I can think of is to go back down. Because that's further down. Unless I were to drop down the center of that. And I know I clearly have to light all those other things on fire, but I don't... I think I have to get that from the room. I'm not strong enough to pick the bomb flowers to be able to do other things. So I guess we just briefly go back to... Well, of course, it's still nighttime. I guess we just briefly go back. Please tell me that he is the only one that's doing that. Oh no. I hear him coming. What? Any reason you just blew yourself up, friend? I wish I could roll down the mountain like a rock with a bomb flower and boom. If I could do that with a bomb flower, I would become a real man. Okay, so rolling bombs is a thing in this game. That's the first thing that I've learned. Okay. It's okay, based on where I'm going. Alright, I'm just gonna try to keep rolling. Or running, I should say. Because I know at some point I'm going to have to get a bomb bag. <laughs> you mean buh bombs? Not, I mean, yes, but no. Alright, so we're in Kariko Village. I guess I should give the mask. There we go. That solves that problem. Alright. I should go to the mask shop in town. Yeah, I have one. <laughs> Do you think you're in disguise, Mr. Hero? Oh? Is that the key something character mask? I heard he's very popular recently. He's my boy's favorite, that key something mask. If you don't mind, will you sell it to me? Yes. My boy will be very happy with this. You really are Mr. Hero. <laughs> Thanks, Waluigi. Oh my god, why are you wearing it? You sold the 10 rupee mask for 15 and earned a little profit. Let's go to the mask shop and pay back the price of the 10. That's fine, I can collect the other remaining 10 literally anywhere else. I don't mind. It's no big deal. But I still have to figure out what the next step is for me to take. So let's see. Oh. We go and we get the mask. Or the money for the mask. I guess maybe we get uh, an additional mask? Because a new one should be available. New roommate's PC Master Race. I mean... Having a PC is kind of nice because it does, like, you have a whole lot less limitations than you do with console. Because console, it's a lot like, you know, the respective console place mods. Well, I mean, there's that too. Um, but, like, you know, when you get something on PlayStation, like, PlayStation approves that. Um... When you get something on Xbox, Xbox approves that. Switch, Nintendo approves that. Whereas, like, on PC, you can kind of, like, you can go on itch.io right now on PC and find so, so many indie games completely free. 
to try out and play. And just enjoy that. It's... The reason I like PC so much... Like, don't get me wrong, I love my respective consoles. But the reason I like PC a little more is because it's... It's like the haven for indie. Of all things. It is the haven for indies... And I love, I love supporting indie developers. I love indie games. I love the creativeness that comes with indie games. And it's a creativeness that unfortunately you don't get to see very often um, in like the AAA market anymore. I think the last time I saw it like really smack people in the face was Baldur's Gate. You say as I have a Switch, a 360, one, PS3, SNES, NES, all hooked up to my TV. Fair. Fair. I, I do like the retro consoles, but um, I meant like in terms of the modern ones. Because like PS2 is really where we got some interesting stuff. I love that PS2. Still have mine. Alright. Let's get you some money. Oh, great. You sold it. Please pay back the 10 rupees for the Keaton mask now. Payment received. What's the other one? Skull mask. Horn skull mask. Uh, I guess we'll borrow this then. You borrowed the skull mask. Okay. You feel like a monster when you wear this mask. And then I guess maybe I should borrow the other one? I don't know. Do I have a limit on what I can carry with me? Oh, trade it. Okay. No, no. I see. So I do have to come back there from time to time. That's fine. Okay, noted. Save it. You're not wrong, I have PS2 functionally on my 3. Allows me to play games like Mortal Kombat Armageddon. I have the PlayStation 2 version of that game. Believe it or not. I bought it at uh, one of the game stores I used to work at a few years ago because we had it come in and I was like I just want to buy this to buy this um I wonder if I should go talk to that skull kid while wearing this mask I don't know oh yeah I'm just gonna end up back in back in the tree if I choose to save it Random fact. Hmm. Let me let me think here. Cuz I want to go something that I find to be a little more like interesting. Hmm. No, I can't use that one. I got an interesting one. I I learned it the other day. Um So Initially, uh, House of a Thousand Corpses, the Rob Zombie horror movie, was set to be released by Universal Studios. Um, and they had recorded it, like, a few years prior before anyone else, like, got famous. So, like, the guy that played Dwight in The Office, in particular, uh, he recorded this, like, a few years before The Office came out. So, anyway, uh, Universal decided, like, that they hated the idea after a point and they weren't going to let him like release this and then a few years later uh, Rob Zombie bought back the rights to his own movie which very seldomly happens and then he was able to release it and the interesting part of this is that when it came time to do like a, a walk through like horror experience right the same way that like um, The Walking Dead had one where like you know it's, it's like a, a haunted house kind of thing but they do it in the style of, like, a famous horror movie. Uh, so when one came up to do, <laughs> Universal, surprisingly enough, sponsored and hosted the House of a Thousand Corpses haunted house, but they would refuse to release the movie. <laughs> so, in which case it was made in spite of Universal, but the haunted house was still then later made by Universal after the movie Boy, became famous. So, you know, that's... That's wild. 
as a thought. Yeah, I know. I literally just learned this yesterday, and I was like, I, I can't believe. Like, they were like, yeah, no, we don't think that we should release this movie because of, I don't remember what the reasoning was, but they were like, we definitely don't think that we should release this movie. And then as soon as it was, like, profitable and they were going to do a haunted house, they're like, yeah, we're going to capitalize in on this immediately. Um, and what's really interesting is uh, they ended up actually using, like, entire areas. Like, they, f they filmed in certain... Because they had gotten the initial green light to, like, film on Universal property. And then, like, it was after the, the movie was, like, mostly already done. And they had even done like, filming at the haunted house that they were creating before Universal pulled their plug. It was a whole weird thing. But they still continue to do the House of a Thousand Corpses, like, ex experience, I guess you could call it. Um, and House of a Thousand Corpses started off with, ironically, being the idea for doing a, uh, like, a haunted experience, as it were, a haunted house, that Rob Zombie came up with and then was like, yeah, no, you know what? Uh, this would be, like, a really cool movie. So they did it that way. So, you know, weird, wild other things that you didn't expect. But, Saberwoman, what is your universal fact? Because I'm intrigued. I mean, Paramount fought over Matt and Trey over the name of the South Park film, only to be uh, screwed by a um, particular joke. Yeah. I, oh god, yeah, they, I think it's hilarious when they, like, pull one over on executives, but in the best way, that's, like, the most of them kind of way. I'm trying, I'm trying to think of, like, other particularly good examples, but there we go. We have, we have learned new facts. These chickens are gonna drive me nuts. I just have to go anywhere that's not these chickens. So, if I wear the monster mask in the Goro's area, are they going to try to kill me? I love how happy he is. He can, he can go live his best life. If I wear this walking up the mountain, am I going to be attacked? Okay, so the answer to that question is yes. Well, I tried. I was really hoping that maybe, just maybe. You know, I don't care about you guys that much. Just go jump off a cliff. And I mean that in the nicest of ways. Okay, so this music, just the da da da, that was being heard over and over and over again in the combat section. It sounds like when you're low health in Gauntlet Dark Legacy. And so I'm running around going, Oh my god, my health! I'm dying! I'm dying! I need healing! Oh god, I, I, have, to find, I have to find an apple! Or something, quickly! And... Yeah, so that's, that's where my thought process goes. Universal sued Nintendo over Donkey Kong in 1982. Despite winning the lawsuit against RKO Pictures by stating that Donkey Kong was in the public domain. It's really interesting, because it is and is not part of the public domain. If you want to go on a wild experience, because um, technically it's not part of the public domain yet, because Steamboat Willie just hit public domain, um, which is, you know, how all of that fun stuff starts to work out. But I want you to look up who owns the rights to Donkey Kong right now. Or not Donkey Kong, to King Kong. Who owns the rights to King Kong? Because what you're going to find is going to be a nightmare of, like, stuff to look at. It's, it's just going to be a super confusing mess because no one's going to know who actually owns the rights to King Kong. And we're all just waiting for it to definitely, permanently land in the public domain so that we have the answer to that question. Because we don't know. I don't... I'm just gonna save it. 